Hello everyone. Welcome to this global meditation. Yes, and I hope there are uh, some people <laughs> will be joining me live here on this beautiful uh, gathering. And, you know, even if you don't catch this live, you know, you are so welcome even in the replay. And we, I'm sure we will have a beautiful and wonderful time together. So, yes, while we give everyone a couple of minutes to find this live and uh, to join us, let me take a few moments to introduce myself and the Dolphin Star Temple, if you're not familiar <laughs> with the Dolphin Star Temple. My name is Inge van Stralen and I am a galactic priestess and I teach Pleiadian light work. I help people receive well, activations and healing and stand in their power by using Pleiadian light work. And Pleiadian light work is, yeah, is like the technique that we use with the Dolphin Star Temple. So that is kind of what we are doing and why we, why, yeah, we are here also in this life because at the Dolphin Star Temple, we really want to support you. We want to support humanity in their growth, in their development. In, and actually, I was reading, rereading this book, the Pleiadian workbook by Amora Kuan Yin. And um, I've read it so many times already, obviously. But um, yeah, I'm... I still reread it every once in a while and I find new information or actually the information is not new, but it hits me, you know, or it, it can, yeah, it come into my heart and into my being like on a different level. So I was reading this, uh, this book, the Pleiadian workbook and uh, what the Pleiadians say about well, Pleiadian light work and the Dolphin Star Temple Mystery School, the work that we do is that the purpose of Pleiadian light work is to help humanity receive, well, yeah, make, make the quantum leap actually into Christ consciousness. And in order for humanity to do that, we need um specific activations and specific healings and those healings and activations are taught in pleiadian light work so yeah that's the mission of pleiadian light work and that's why we do this work and i asked Hey, Sandra, good evening from France. Oh my gosh, that sounds heavenly. Anyway, so, anyway, so yeah, Pleiadian light work. And I was reading this, uh, this book again. And uh, if you're interested and you haven't read it yet, you can purchase it through the Dolphin Star Temple website, www.dolphinstartemple.org and then you you can find uh, this book and other books and mp3s in our web shop anyway I was rereading it and the Pleiadians spoke to me you know especially also with the uh, theme of summer solstice you know we've just been through that beautiful portal again and I was asking them okay what do you want us to do, especially for this uh, global meditation? What can we do? And they asked me to do some portal work. So, and basically what they said is that we all 
We're, we are so focused. Let me just ask them directly. So rather than, you know, from memory. Okay, what they're saying is that we're so focused on, you know, going through this portal and opening that portal and, you know, bringing in other new frequencies. And that is all very externally based. And they're asking us to go back within. And they're telling us that we carry everything within us. So very often, all you need to do, you know, because we sometimes get these ideas that in order to open a portal or to clear a place that we need to do things, um, you know, that there's something we need to do or, you know, some ritual we have to perform. And they tell us that very often all we need to do is just be that we carry codes within us within our bodies within our light bodies and just by visiting a place just being present there physically the we make a connection to that location and the codes that we are carrying the keys that will unlock all sorts of portals and whatever it, that is needed at that specific location, that, that will happen automatically just by being there. And they're asking us to release the doing. And, you know, just by being present, by being in our bodies, feeling our bodies, and taking our physical body, you know, to a specific location, that can sometimes be enough. Hey, hello, Cherie. <laughs> good morning from California. So good to have you here. So anyway, so that is what the Pleiadians want us to know. You know at this time. And I asked them, you know, what can we do? And let me ask them again, because sometimes they, they change everything at the last minute. <laughs> and they're telling me, no, no. What we're going to do today is open portals within ourselves, within our body. And to actually... We, we are carrying codes within our bodies and within our light bodies. And sometimes by, you know, things that we have experienced or karmic issues that we carry with us or, you know, past lives, what we have experienced, these portals or these codes within us have died out is that the right term because they're they're showing me you know when we're all completely whole and activated you know it these these keys these yeah these codes that we carry in our body and in our uh, light bodies just show up as stars in yeah, or yeah, show up as stars or sh shine bright like stars within us and we can sometimes we can carry so many codes if we're whole if we're fully activated that you know when we really go inside we carry that full star frequency we become a star just by having all these different fragments and all these different lit up keys and portals within us when they're all healed when we're connected to them we shine so bright and they form connections within us that we become a star 
I love that. I love that image. Thank you, guides. That is just amazing. So what they want us to do now is just focus on these stars, on these frequencies, these keys that we hold within our bodies and within our fields. And they will help us activate these stars. And um, yeah, they, they've they shown it me, to me before and, you know, I call them the star map. That's the word that they gave to me. So it's, it's like a star map that we carry in us. It's like astrology, actually, you know, all these different stars within our system. Anyway, so they will activate all these stars and connect it to our body and to our soul matrix. And soul matrix is the anchor point of your soul in your body. It's the first point or the first center in your physical body where your soul anchored in this incarnation. So, and they want us to connect these stars to our soul matrix. So really to, to help us embody those keys and codes. So we can embody starlight. Wow. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready to do this? I know I'm going really fast, but, you know, I just feel that this is so important to do. So I don't want to spend too much time talking and explaining. I think it's just really important to experience it. And let me just double check with the Pleiadians, what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to activate these codes, the the star map, connect it to our soul matrix. Okay, soul matrix is like, as I said, this center in your soul center in your body. And it, it has the shape of a Merkava. And it is like in this part of your chest. So it's in your higher heart, you could also call it so it's above your heart chakra it's not here but it's really like a little higher up all right you know let's just experience it so make sure you're comfortable have like i think <laughs> we're gonna do this uh yeah slowly i think we're gonna take 30 minutes perhaps to do this so make sure you're comfortable okay sandra says oh you went to the joan of arc the birthplace of joan of arc and her church oh my gosh sandra's ready okay how about you sheree <laughs> are you ready too okay let's do this if you oh before we do this, if you have any questions, you know, you can put it in the chat and I will get to it. So make sure you're comfortable. While you do that, don't forget to like our page. You know, if you're watching this in the replay on YouTube, subscribe to this channel, give this video a like and share it with others. If you're watching this on Facebook, same thing, you know, subscribe to our page, give this video a like and share it with others. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just get started. I don't see any questions. If you're, if you're watching this in the replay and you have a question, you can always just put it in the chat in the replay and I will get back to you all right let's get started and as always we start from our body by focusing on our body feeling our body breathing into our body breathe in and breathe out And again, take a deep breath in and out. 
and scan your body. Are there any places in your body that feel tense, tight, heavy? Just breathe into those places. And on your exhale, you release whatever is ready to be released. Breathe into those places. Scan your feet, your legs. Breathe out. Your body, your upper body, your lower body. your belly, your chest, and release your arms, scan your arms, your hands, breathe in and out. Your neck and your head. release. And now we breathe into our whole body. Fill your whole body with breath. Full body breath. Breathe in and hold it. Hold your breath for a couple of seconds and release. And one more time. Full body breath. Hold your breath and release and ground yourself. Put down your grounding cord. If you're familiar with Pleiadian light work, put down your grounding cord from your first or second chakra. And if you're new to all this, use your own method of grounding. And if you don't have a method just yet, breathe into the soles of your feet and the tip of your tailbone. And from there, grow root deep into the earth. Breathe in and out. Feel your connection to Mother Earth through your grounding cord, through your roots. And breathe in Earth energy into your body. And I call upon the Pleiadian Emissaries of Light and I ask them to join us in our individual spaces and to clear our spaces and to place a protective circle around our individual spaces and then to connect all of our individual spaces together so that we're all in one big energetic circle. Archangel Michael of Light and Love, I ask you to seal our circle with your Sword of Truth. And I set the intention that we will use this meditation for our personal growth with an open heart, serving love, light, truth, and purity for ourselves for humanity and for the earth, Mother Earth, to help bring about this massive growth into Christ consciousness. And I call upon only those karma-free guides of light and love who honor these intents who serve the same purpose. And I command that all those who do not honor these intents and serve these purposes, leave our circle. I command this, I command this, I command this. And I invite the Dolphin Star Temple Higher Council of Light to join us and to transform 
our space, our circle into a sacred dolphin star temple circle. And I ask for the crystalline pillars to be placed around our circle, connecting us to the light heart of Mother Earth and the light heart of Father Son and the inner sanctuary of the Dolphin Star Temple in Mount Shasta. And take a moment to feel that sacred energy from the inner sanctuary of the Dolphin Star Temple, from the light heart of Mother Earth and the light heart of Father Son to fill our space. And I ask the Pleiadian, Syrian, and Andromedan emissaries of light for the following cones of light to be placed above and below our auras and above and below our temple space, the interdimensional, the evolutionary, the intergalactic, and the earth cones of light. And I ask the Pleiadian emissaries of light stand around us, each and every one of us, and feel these beautiful star beings around you. And you have at least three Pleiadians around you, but maybe there are more. And take a moment to feel these beautiful star beings and to connect with them. And they're asking you to breathe into your heart. And actually a little higher than that, into your soul matrix, into your higher heart. Your soul center right there in the shape of a Merkaba. And from their hands, they send healing frequencies to your soul matrix, your soul center, and your higher heart. Just breathe, feel. And then they place you into a star map activation chamber of light. and a key code, activation of light, chamber of light. So a key code, activation, chamber of light. And a chamber of light is an energetic structure that contains activational frequencies. And it is placed around your physical body and your light bodies. And the Pleiadian emissaries of light start connecting star points in your light body and in your physical body to this to certain stars so for example maybe somewhere around your throat chakra there is a star point a connection to 
a star. Maybe it is a Pleiadian star, Arcturian star, wherever it is. And maybe that star point has lost some of its shine, has dulled. And now the Pleiadians reactivate that connection with that particular star. And maybe there are some key codes that you carry that are not just connected to stars, but to other dimensions, to fifth dimensional or even sixth dimensional frequencies, or key codes that are connected to a glorious past here on earth that contain beautiful frequencies that you can unlock through this key code. And the Pleiadians will activate these codes, these star points, And while they do that, you may find tension in your body. And just breathe into those places. And on your exhale, you release whatever is ready to be released. And they're telling us that we all carry some sort of belief. Or no, they're, they're telling me it's not a belief, it's a contract. Something that ties us to the current state of the earth. Because when we incarnated here and we took it upon us to carry these codes to bring back Christ consciousness, we needed to be here in this realm. So we made an agreement that we would stay here. And that we would come back time after time. And it was needed, that contract, at that time. Because otherwise, a lot of us, and I know that when I'm speaking for myself, <laughs> that I would have, you know left this place thinking, okay, I'm not going to do this. So feel in your frequency, in your body, in your light bodies, that contract, the frequency of that, that contraction. And breathe into it. And bring your awareness to those places. Think, okay. Thank you. It may feel very uncomfortable. I know it is for me. But breathe into it and give it space. Don't repress it and don't let it go just immediately. No, just give it all the space that it needs. Just Feel it really, really well. 
and say thank you to this feeling. Thank you so much. You have served me really, really well. I know that I needed to be here. And thank you for keeping me here. And it has served its, its purpose. And I'm grateful. But it's time to let it go. And now see, feel, hear or know a contract in front of you. So see that contract, an official looking piece of paper that says on top contract. And it is between you and the 3D Mother Earth and 3D humanity and 3D consciousness. And it says something along the lines of that you pledge yourself, that you will be stuck here. You will come again and again and again. You will stay here in this consciousness on this 3D earth with this 3D humanity. And it's signed by you. 3D earth, 3D humanity, 3D consciousness. And feel it. Feel the effect. Not only in your physical body, but in all your light bodies. And breathe, breathe into those places. And on your exhale, you breathe it into the contract. Breathe in and breathe out into the contract. Release everything and let all these frequencies, all these contractions, all this heaviness be absorbed by the contract because that's where it stems from where it originates and then you take a stamp a rubber stamp that says cancel, red ink, and you cancel it, you stamp it over the contract, over the words, it is done, cancel it, and you take the contract into your hands, and you tear it into small pieces, And then you hold the pieces in your hands. And from your heart, you send beautiful energy, heart energy, into the pieces of this contract. And you declare, and you can do it silently or out loud, whatever feels more comfortable for you. You say, I declare this contract null and void. It is not valid anymore. I release this contract. It has served me for so many lives and I know that it was necessary. 
but not anymore. It is done. I release this from my body, from all my energetic bodies, from my light bodies, from my past, my present, my future, all my dimensional selves. It is done. And in order for me, a 3D humanity and 3D earth and 3D consciousness to move on, to bring about that wave of Christ consciousness. I need to let this go. It is time. I am ready, I am ready, I am ready. And in the middle of our circle, there is this big fire with ultraviolet flames and you throw the pieces, the remnants of that contract into that fire, into the ultraviolet flame. I release this, I release this, I release this. A Saint Germain of light and love comes in front of you and pours ultraviolet liquid through your body through your energetic bodies, through your light bodies to release whatever is still there. Breathe in and out. Archangel Michael, I ask to join us and to move your sword of truth through our bodies, through our light bodies. And dissolve any cords that we may still have. with beings that have an agenda to keep that 3D consciousness, 3D humanity, 3D earth in place. Archangel Michael, please release the cords that we still have with these beings and it may be in this time time and place but it may also be from a different life a different dimension I release I release I release And the Pleiadian Emissaries of Light activate new key codes within you, strengthen star points within your body. Feel it, breathe into it. And now we have released this contract and these cords 
The key codes can go deeper. New key codes can be activated. We can go deeper. And the most important key code and star point for this moment are on your, on your soul matrix, that Merkaba in your higher heart. And breathe into it. The Pleiadians will activate that key code and that star point. <sighs> and by activating this key code, this star point, your whole physical body can embrace these new frequencies, these new codes. You can carry it physically rather than just energetically. You can start to embody these codes. And this is our new assignment to carry our codes to all these places on the planet. And you don't need to travel very far, but you can just, maybe you're guided to go to your local park or your backyard, your garden. But alternatively, it can also be really far on the other side of the wor world. You will be called. And all you need to do is be. Bring your physical body. And now focus on all the key codes and the star points in your body, in your light bodies. See if you can feel them or see them, know that they're there and breathe into them and breathe in these frequencies of these codes and star points and breathe those frequencies into your soul matrix, into your higher heart. And from there, let them fill your whole physical body. This is the light you carry. You are starlight. You are a star being. You are key to this planet, to bringing about the next wave of Christ consciousness. And now let's breathe into our soul matrixes with all the starlight and the key code light that we have activated our own codes, our own star points, all these frequencies that we carry that are unique to us. 
breathe into it. And from your soul matrix, from your higher heart, let a beam of light shine to the middle of our space. And all our beams of light and our codes and keys and star points meet each other. by sending these codes to each other, sharing these codes and these starlight or star points with each other. You may be reminded of frequencies and get a new activation. And then from your soul matrix, create a beautiful ball of golden light from your key codes, from your star points, from your starlight into a beautiful ball of light. And on the count of three, we will use our breath to blow this ball of light of your starlight to the light heart of Mother Earth. One, two, and breathe in, and three. And take a moment to receive the response, to feel the effect of what we've done. And breathe in and breathe out and ground again put down your grounding cord anew just breathe into it or breathe into your roots and I thank all these beautiful beings that were here today for this activation. Thank you so much. Pleiadian, Syrian, Andromedan Emissaries of Light, Archangel Michael. Thank you so much. Dolphin Star Temple Higher Council of Light, Saint Germain. Thank you so much. And thank you, Starlight people. Thank you so much for being here. Starlight people in a body, in a human body. Thank you so much. I am honored to be here with you on this planet. And I ask for all the energetic structures to be released so that we're all in our own energetic space again. And breathe in deeply and breathe out. And now open your eyes if you have them closed. Wow. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for being here with me for this activation. Gosh, I feel like this was such an important meditation or activation, whatever you want to call it. I never know what to call it. It was so important to release that contract that was big. I could really feel a shift. 
Cyprian, Philip, oh wow, oh my god, oh my god, so much love and gratitude, yes! Me too. Thank you for being here, for doing this with us. Yeah, beautiful, Sandra says. Yes, I know. Thank you so much. Gosh, oh, I was not expecting it to go boom so deep. Lovely people. If you have any questions, put them in the chat. I know, now or later. Yeah, Sandra says, I'm glad to be rid of that contract. Thank you. Yes, I know. I was so surprised when they came with that. It was an important one. And uh, I, I do feel like that is the one that has been, you know, holding me back too. So thank you all for being here and for helping me release this and this to help this release for a lot of us because I think most of us carry this contract. All right, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, if you want more of this, I am hosting a trip to Avalon in September, starting the 20th, 20th of September. So you can find it on the events page of the Dolphin Star Temple. So uh, yeah, go check it out. Maybe this is for you too, because we're going to take our bodies and step through these portals. All right, lovely people. If there are no more questions, I don't see anything. So that is good. So that means everything is clear. I'd love to hear from you, obviously, and it's been such an honor yeah, to be here, present with you. Okay, if there's nothing more, I say goodbye to you. From my heart to your heart. It's, oh. I always find it difficult to say goodbye. <laughs> I don't know if you have the same thing, but it's just, I love you so much. You know, these gatherings basically just open my heart and I feel the love. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye. Lovely people. Lovely star beings.